Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. Uh, this is the last uh, part in a series about uh, Django, uh, CRUD and HTMX. Uh, in this video, I'll explain how you can keep in sync uh, uh, data from the form which you are changing and uh, uh, update the table uh, which uh, displays the same row. Alright, so let's jump to the, uh, to the action and let's see the use case. So this is the same sample application I was using in the previous videos and you get uh, you can get full source code for this application by going to the github uh, below the video uh, there is a url and uh, the, there is a readme file uh, in a github and uh, all the step by step instructions so that you could able uh, you would be able to run it on your own without any issues if you uh, get into any troubles or issues uh, please uh, send me a message, uh, raise issue on the GitHub or send me a message directly. I'll be more than happy to follow up and help you out. So let's see how it works. So this is the table that we get and uh, you have option to click edit. Right. As soon as we click edit, then uh, HTMX is, uh, uh, get request is sent to the backend and uh, data for the editable form is fetched and this form uh, region is displayed. Then we have option to click save, and when we click save, we uh, send another HTMX post request this time to the backend. We submit all the data to the backend, and uh, Django is responsible to save it to a database, uh, do the validation, and so on. So all this, all this kind of stuff. And the last bit, uh, when we update uh, data in a form, Obviously, would like to, uh, the changes if they were saved successfully to the database. We would like those changes to be visible in the read-only table above as well uh, in this table. So imagine that uh, let's say we will be updating the salary for this employee. So uh, if you go and set something uh, to five thousand over here, and uh, let's clean it up the log uh, save. Uh, we'll see that the value in in the table was updated as well, and this value was updated through uh, another GET request. So first we had POST request, data was pushed to the uh, backend, and then uh, since uh, this push was successful, we executed GET request, and uh, uh, the data was updated. In case if we try to uh, set some invalid data, like 250, for example, and try to save, we get validation error, and there's no second request to get new data, and data in the table stays the same as it is uh, in a database. All right, so we can close the tab, for example, and open again, and uh, correct data is fetched from the database. Right, so now how it works. Uh, so the main thing here is uh, when we execute successful post, then immediately we would like to uh, execute get request uh, to fetch uh, new records for the table above. And let's see how it works. Uh, for, to make it work, we are using HTMX events. And if HTMX event, you can uh, uh, you can raise uh, HTMX event from the backend, and uh, the front end uh, uh, HTMX definition can react to this event and execute uh, get uh, request on the tag where this get request is uh, defined. All right, so <clears throat> there are three things that you should uh, focus uh, in relation to this video. This is edit form uh, HTML page, and this is a views uh, script where uh, Django backend logic is implemented, and this is a view table fragment where the, the, the table read-only table is being implemented. <clears throat> okay, so first uh, the flow starts from the edit form when we hit the save button. We execute post request and this was explained in my previous video. So we uh, do post and uh, based when save button is pressed, when form is submitted and uh, yeah, all the data is sent to the backend. So let's see what happens in the backend in this case. So this is the uh, Python post function in a, in a Django backend. What we do here, we check if form is valid, if all the fields are uh, values for all the fields are correct, if there is no validation errors. In case this is true, then we go on and uh, uh, prepare the response message, uh, prepare prepare the um, HTML response for HTMX as well, <clears throat> and 
one thing we add here is htmx trigger and we're using a predefined name for this trigger hx minus trigger and uh, we specify any name for, uh, any value for the trigger as we would like to and this uh, information is returned back by django uh, with um, <clears throat> together with the rest of the response okay so the key thing here is to make sure that you name the trigger uh, hx minus trigger and then you provide any name any value <clears throat> for the trigger and then you need to uh, handle this uh, event by by the name as you specified over here okay so this trigger is uh, event so this event uh, is handled inside the fragment which uh, renders read only table so this one <clears throat> and on a table html table, table tag we register uh, htmx get uh, and we point to uh, uh, django endpoint that return list of employees so this list of employees that is rendered in the table and because at this moment, uh, if you look into the views again, we see that um, form was saved and the data was already saved to database. So this means at this point when <clears throat> uh, we'll catch uh, events um, on table tag, then uh, database will have already stored all the latest data. And if we execute get request, we'll fetch latest data at the point of time. So we register get request on top of the table and uh, we need to have a trigger uh, to tell when this get request will be executed and to say that uh, this get request will be executed when employee changed event this one employee changed event will be um, <clears throat> will be cached uh, on uh, do document body because uh, those events that are uh, returned back uh, from the backend in particular uh, HTMX event it travels up and uh, when it will reach uh, document body it will be uh, detected this is how HTMX library works so in this case uh, HTMX trigger points to the event name and uh, uh, HTML element of the current document where this event will be retrieved so as soon as uh, uh, HTMX library for the H, uh, for the trigger attribute we'll see that uh, such events like employee changed exist uh, in the current response then it will automatically execute for us uh, get uh, which will trigger uh, Django endpoint uh, which returns the employees and uh, uh, the template name uh, over here if you, if you scroll up uh, we'll see uh, here that return uh, for the template name, we return edit form, but uh, uh, but because in addition to that, we also return the event. So when this event will be handled uh, on UI by HTMX library, it will refresh uh, the HTML component automatically for us. So this view table HTMX will be automatically the content inside this template uh, on a HTML table tag specifically will be refreshed automatically for us. So what we get here is that we execute post, then we get as a response, uh, uh, we get uh, fresh data for the editable form, and we also raise event from the backend, and this event it will be handled by a completely different region uh, where a read-only table is implemented, and this region will be refreshed automatically uh, by HTMX library because uh, it handles the event. Right, so this is the video where I was trying to explain how events work and I believe HTMX events are extremely important for more complex, complex applications where you have dependencies between regions and this happens very very often in enterprise applications when you have read only a table for example and uh, below that or somewhere on the right side you have um, editable form and user clicks um, uh, record uh, gets editable form changes the data then pressing save and users want to see the changes uh, reflected uh, immediately in the table uh, in the read only table and then they could click another record and go on with them data editing so hopefully this explanation how htmx events work in practice with this uh, 
sample application which shows how to implement uh, updated functionality with HTMX and Django will help uh, in your own work. And uh, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.